Yo, look, peep. So, we got a temporary second moon, right? Temporary second moon. But it's believed to be an asteroid. So they say. According to ABC News. And I don't think too many people are concerned about it as they should be because we are living in a weird, strange time. You know, a lot of people say the end times. Um, I don't know what to call it at this point. We are living in a freaking movie, bro. Like, a literal movie right now. But it's real life. That's the thing. But it feels like a movie right now. Like, it's weird. But I'm going to play what ABC says, and uh, we're going to get into it. Second moon for a limited time. Astronomers say an asteroid will come close enough to Earth to temporarily enter its orbit at the end of the month. Let's bring in astrophysics professor Adam Frank from the University of Rochester for more. Adam, what can you tell us about this so-called mini-moon, and how does this work? Yeah, so um, the idea here is that the solar system, which we think of as being pretty chill, uh, you know, just planets going around in circles forever, is actually pretty chaotic. And there's a lot of asteroids uh, and comets flying around. And it's pretty pretty um, dynamic in a lot of ways. And what we're having here is a asteroid, which is basically a flying mountain in space that at, uh, usually orbits close to the Earth or orbits in the same um, distance from the sun as the Earth. And it's getting captured by the Earth's gravity, and it'll be part of the Earth-Moon system. It'll orbit the Earth for maybe about two months, and then it'll get flung back out. So we get a little teeny tiny little moon for about two months. Okay, okay. so how, how close are we talking when we say this asteroid is coming into Earth's orbit? Do we have to be worried about this? No, no, not at this point, luckily, because uh, if something this size were to hit the Earth, you know, it would be a, an apocalypse of... Uh, you know, <laughs> of a biblical kind. So really here, what we've got is something that's at about the moon's orbit or so. It's about that that kind of distance. So in no way is it going to get close enough to uh, threaten us in any way. But, you know, the important thing here, here is, is that we watch the skies. Astronomers are spending a lot of time trying to catalog these classes of asteroids to make sure that we understand where all of them are. Because if any were to get close enough to the Earth, we'd be but there was a possibility of hitting us, we'd have to figure out how to divert it or do something to it to keep it from uh, striking the Earth. So will we be able to see it? Do we need a, a telescope or any special eyewear, or can you see it with the naked eye? Yeah, it's pretty small, so you're not going to be able to see it with the, the naked eye. You're going to need a telescope. Even then, it may be uh, pr uh, pretty difficult, given its distance. So it's more the idea of it than actually we're getting an extra moon. Because, you know, I've always been a little bit disappointed. One moon in the sky, you know, I really would be better. It would be a much more interesting sky if we had two or three, like some other planets. So, um, sadly, we're not going to get to see this one. All right. Well, Adam, you get working on that, will you? We want to we wanna see another moon. Working on it right now. Uh, by the way, I think you win the award for coolest Zoom background of any guest we've ever had. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, we've got to be ready. Love it. Astrophysics professor Adam Frank. Adam, thank you. So they're saying that the moon's not going to be visible. Hmm. And it's going to be here for two months. And what concerns me about this is the words he was using during his explanation of this second moon you know like apocalypse biblical like they're throwing in signs bro like you gotta read between the lines and really see what they're trying to say like something's something's coming i feel like the rapture is close you know for those of you who believe in the bible and um you know the story of the bible but um yeah, I, I really feel like the rapture, the rapture is really near. So prepare, guys, please prepare. Um, there's a lot more in store to come. So y'all just keep your eye out. You I know, get it if y'all think this. Getting your Bibles, study for yourself to show thyself approved. And uh, did y'all hear about the uh, the? the sphere in las vegas and the the messages that it was sending oh my god but in the midst of the words there were like short messages like and one of them was that social media was the antichrist which i kind of believe um uh, 
I mean, it's like it's it's crazy. Social media is like the, it's the biggest thing going, and it's got positive impact. It's got negative impact, but overall, I think social media has got a negative impact. Just my opinion. I mean, but it's also bringing a lot of information, but they don't push the information. They push the bullshit, you know, and it's freaking, it's crazy. Oh, man. Let me see. I saw it on TikTok. I hope you got it. Everything you know is wrong. Oh, my God. Death is inevitable kill baby if you know you know oh man more I hope you got it everything man this is crazy yeah that's and it was it was actually a concert from a the band U2, which is crazy because at the beginning of the pandemic, I remember on my phone at the time, I had like an iPhone 6. And, uh, and I had Apple Mute, the Apple Music app, and it would always play U2, the band. Like, it, it would always play a song from U2 on my phone. Like, that, I found that weird. Like, randomly, like, it would just play it every day. Like, it would play the song. A song from U2, which is, is crazy. But U2 was hosting the concert at the Sphere while the messages were going on display. And they were saying that uh, the messages were from uh, the managers. or They don't know where exactly it comes from, so they say. You know, they think it's from the higher-ups trying to warn the people, which I don't doubt. The words were going, the original speed of the words were like super fast. So you couldn't, you couldn't read them. You had to like record it with a cell phone or whatever device you have and slow the speed all the way down to read the words. Like, and I think that's kind of fishy. And that's why I think that the messages had some meaning to it, because why would they play it super fast? I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but yeah, that was, I found that pretty weird. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. Oh yeah. And there's a, there's a movie coming out. Uh, let me see. I forgot the name of it. I just saw it. A preview of it on TikTok. I gotta, give me a sec. All right. So, all right. I found it. And, uh, I'm gonna play it after I speak on it. And I don't know, I think the name of it is called Azrael. Um, and it was saying basically, and this movie is coming out September 27th, which is around the same time that the second moon will be here for 53 days approximately. So they say, we don't know, only time will tell. But I feel like the rapture is near because they're putting all this in everyone's face. Like, they're showing you that, hey, time is winding up. I mean, things haven't been the same since 2020, in my opinion. Do y'all feel the same way? Let me know. Because am I the only one? Am I just thinking too much? Am I tripping? Like, y'all let me know. Um, I feel like things just haven't been the same since 2020. AI is taking over. And uh, I saw this video where... Um, this guy was asking AI some questions and there were two words that uh, he had uh, implemented. Uh, salt, salt was no and candy was yes. And he was asking AI like, did humans create uh, AI and everything? And the AI answered back salt, like, which was no. And uh, and that's that's crazy and he asked it some more questions too he was asking uh if uh ai trusted humans and it said salt no and it uh, he asked uh if we should trust the ai and it answered salt <laughs> like i mean you can't make this up this is crazy um 
man, y'all gotta pay attention to this stuff, man. It's a lot going on, and um, yeah, that that freaking message on the Las Vegas sphere is like freaking me out. That's wild, and I was in Las Vegas too, um, a couple years back, and I saw that sphere. Like, I don't know, I got chills from watching that video. That was that was crazy. And uh, shit, Vegas. I mean, Vegas is a vibe though. I ain't gonna lie, but. I don't know, man. It's a lot of stuff going on, and I don't even know, bro. Y'all just better buckle up and get ready for the ride. <laughs> but, hey, it's coming. Trust me, it is coming, bro. Something big is coming. I feel like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But something huge is on the way, and we can't stop it. And only time will tell, and no one knows the exact date which is the scary part like it's gonna be sudden and it's gonna be big and the whole world will stop and acknowledge like hey all right time's up and if you don't then you're clearly delusional but hey that's on you i'm just here to bring you you know things that i feel like i should be speaking on and um yeah, we're living we're living in a wild time. It's it's bad. Um I feel like part of me feels like there won't be an election. Like I like I just don't understand. I saw clips of Kamala. Uh they were saying that she was drunk and stuff, like on stage, which she her body language did give off like drunk vibes but i'm not saying the lady was drunk or anything but you know how he did that little that little drunk burp that you know she was doing that and slurring her words and everything i don't know bro it's it's crazy um i don't know man y'all just buckle up and and get ready for the ride it's because we're in for a rude awakening and this is only the beginning that's the that's the scary part. And this, we ain't even seen nothing yet. Like, even though it's been tough and it's been rough, it's going to get worse. I truly don't feel like, I truly feel like it's not going to get better. Um, I mean, it's just my opinion. And I mean, I see it like, even though I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm living a healthy life. Like I'm, I'm living okay. I'm living, you know what I'm saying? I'm living good. I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm surrounded by good people and everything, and I don't know, it's just, we're not in the greatest of time, and I don't know, I, you just, you just can't ignore these things, I mean, these things are just, it's in your face now, like, it's hard to ignore, it's impossible to ignore, and, uh, social media is, I don't know, it's, it's taking over, um, you know, everybody's doing things for views, clicks, and likes. And I don't know. That's just what it seems to, like to be about now is, uh, you know, the popularity and everything. Which, I mean, at a time, I did feed into that as well. Like, trying to be popular and, uh, you know, looking for notoriety from others. But now is not the time to be doing so. I just feel like now is the time to just push out information to the people that may not be hip to it. So that's what I'm here for. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far. Um, I also want to talk about, you know, like the attitudes of people like everything is shifting right now like there's a big shift going on and a big separation which i mean like it's hard to ignore like you may be experiencing this as well like where you used to click with certain people but now like you guys are not even on the best of terms or not even talking period and and you're at peace with it you know um I've been going through this myself as well, you know, in my personal life. Um, you know, I've separated from family and friends that I used to be close with, but I'm at peace now. 
and you know it's just i mean it's sad that you know i mean you could try to get information through the people and try to get them to turn your vibration and frequency um you know i know the religious people gonna they're gonna say oh vibration frequency you know when you use those types of words that it offends you know certain people of of certain religions i'm not gonna name those religions just saying it offends some people and i don't know it's, it's just crazy to me um but yeah man y'all buckle up get ready stay prayed up um just be the best you can be man just believe in your heart that jesus is king um you'll be all right but i do feel like the rapture is near and that the end is near so i just wanted to make this video to uh you know express my thoughts and opinions on the situation um but yes ai is very dangerous and it's it's taken over it's i don't know things things just aren't the same anymore um the interactions with people aren't the same there's no substance to conversation anymore it's just all small talk and bs you know things that don't really matter like i, I mean i get the diddy situation is big and but I honestly feel like that's a cover up for something bigger. Um, just my opinion. And this Diddy thing is the hugest thing on social media right now. When there's actual things going on that's gonna affect the world as a whole, but nobody's talking about it. Well, there is people talking about it, but just not enough. And that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> maybe this will encourage. Maybe this will inspire you to make your own video to express your thoughts on the, the state of the society that we're living in and the times that we're living in. Yeah, man. So y'all be careful out there and, uh, yeah, stay prayed up and y'all be safe. Much love to y'all. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you for tuning in. I will be dropping more. So thank you. Peace. There's a new movie about the rapture dropping on September 27th. Oh boy, do we got to talk about it. But first, watch this. So a few things. One, this is a picture of a cross. You can see the words are upright, although she's laying down upside down. Okay? The cross, up. Peter was the only other person aside from Jesus that was crucified, but he was crucified upside down. Okay? Also, Azrael, and the only other place you find Azrael is in the Apocalypse of Peter, but that is not a canonical book. All right? Again, this is an Islamic angel of death and these things within the person that saw the movie said that they were pretty much worshiping her then they were trying to get at her and this entire movie is based on the rapture and what happens after the rapture and i find it interesting that it's dropping on the 27th of september and that's near the same time we've also got a mini moon coming around the moon and we've also got supposed i don't know this is just for entertainment i don't know if it's true or not it probably isn't true secret meetings because we have something heading to earth that they say that is um not a rock whatever is going on whether they're trying to manifest it or not these things are absolutely messages and symbolisms by the world by everything by god by all these things this is not just entertainment and we've been talking about the rapture everyone's been talking about the rapture for a very long time it's coming get right with god and if you pick up the small pieces of what i told you within all this you can put together what i'm trying to say i obviously can't say it for the sake of the video but you get where i'm getting at okay there's only one way to god and they know it all the other ways are demons and they love each other for it 
Do you understand? Seek Yahushua. God is coming back. <laughs>